I'm Phil Karsting. I'm administrator of USDA's Foreign Agricultural Service, and I'm glad to be in Rome. Uh, by 2050, we're going to have 9 billion people on this planet, and part of the reason I'm here this week was to participate in conversations at the Food and Agricultural Organization, uh, where our Committee on Agriculture, Committee on Fisheries, Committee on Forestry all got together to present reports about how it is that we are going to uh, uh, manage a situation where we've got uh, growing populations in a lot of the world uh, and there's going to be a, a great deal of pressure on our agricultural systems around the globe. Uh, that conversation is going to continue on next year at Milan Expo 2015, which is the next World's Fair. It's going to be a great event. Uh, I think it's going to draw people from all across the United States and from all across the globe to have some of these conversations that are really important about, uh, about the future and the future of agriculture. Uh, for us, it's a great opportunity for Americans to showcase the diversity of American agriculture, we have uh, organic producers, we have conventional producers, we have agricultural producers of every size uh, that you can imagine. It's also an opportunity for us to showcase our commitment to sustainability. American farmers care a great deal about preserving their land and their water, and that's going to be even more important as we enter a world where climate change is a reality and we're going to need to adjust. And it's a great opportunity for uh, American agriculture to showcase its commitment to innovation. We're always doing new things. I think Americans are known for that. Uh, and it's going to be a great opportunity for us to show the world uh, what American agriculture truly is, uh, to get beyond some of the stereotypes, uh, and to showcase exactly what it is that we're working with. So I'm very excited about it.